run about approximately 2,000 merino ewes, and with that, it um, works well with our with our grain and legume uh, enterprise, which is, consists of uh, wheat and chickpea, and um, also uh, oil seed of canola. Yeah, dual purpose cropping on this property has been um, yeah, it's been it's been the big saviour, um, especially in these dry years because. If you grow just a main season wheat or cannoli, not guaranteed that, that grain yield at the end. So with a dual purpose crop, you get the opportunity to graze the crop and you get cash back. You, you guarantee that money back. Um, the term dual purpose crops refers to crops that can be sown early, earlier than normal. Um, they can be grazed in winter while they're leafy and vegetative and before they um, start to, to elongate. Um, and then they can be locked up and grown on for grain. So you get two incomes off the one crop, a uh, grazing value in the winter and then a grain harvested in the summer. The work on dual purpose crops and dual purpose canola in particular has been a real partnership between the scientists, uh, the growers and consultants and the industry. We've been supported from the outset by the GRDC who have uh, funded the initial projects from the conception of the idea right through to the uh, integration of this into the farming system. The continuation of, of that scientific study is, um, yeah, would be paramount for agriculture definitely in this area. It covers a lot of topics, a lot of enterprises, not just grain enterprises, but the sheep enterprise. And um, for us as farmers, that is invaluable. Although uh, 20, 2019 has been a dry year, we haven't uh, de-stocked uh, in great numbers. If we weren't utilising dual purpose crops this year, um, it would be a yeah, much different story. But the real benefit is that uh, on a mixed farm, if things turn really bad, the farmer's got the option to either graze the crop out completely or to cut it for hay if it's not going to go on to produce grain or if the season goes well to get grain on top of the grazing. So there are all these exit strategies that the farmer has with a dual purpose crop which give them flexibility and ways of still making some money uh, from that crop in those dry years. If you stick to your farming practices and do what you have to do, you will get something back. Hopefully this is one of the worst years we see, but if we have it again, we just have to go around and it will rain and we'll get the good years like we've had in the past. So we just have to stick to what we do best and um, we'll be right.